Morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School back out here at the Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen. What I thought we'd do today is I've got an excess right now of honey. And while honey pretty much lasts forever, I'm going to use a little bit of it to do some things that I've been wanting to do. One of the things I'm going to do in the near future is I'm going to make some mead. So you guys stay tuned for that. What we're going to do today is we're going to make a salted honey pie. And it's basically going to turn out to be, if you're familiar with sugar cream pie, it's almost going to be a honey cream pie when we're done. But the first thing we need to do is make some crust. Now we talked about making good pie crust, nice flaky pie crust. On the video we made the shoe fly pie. But we're gonna walk through it again really quickly today. Maybe not as in depth and in detail, but we'll talk about it as I make the crust for this pie and then we'll get to making that salted honey pie. Stay tuned guys. Okay, so we've initially cut about a half a stick of butter into about a half a cup of flour added a tablespoon of or teaspoon excuse me of salt and started cutting that in together now we can add the rest of our dry ingredients and then go to our wet so we need about another third of a cup of flour all right as we start to cut this in now we're going to get to the point where we add a little bit of water but the water has to be very very cold so we'll take cooler water that's the best we got and we'll start to cut that into this and mix it up. Right now, I'm trying to avoid the buildup of glutens by absorbing a lot of the flour with the butter before I add water and the total amount of flour. So I want this kind of look like beach sand when I'm done before I start adding water to it. So I want to get all this cut in really, really good. And these pastry cutters are great for that. Another one of those tools of the very few I would say you don't want to do without. There are not too many tools you don't want to do without, but this is one of them for sure. We could go over that in another video. These rounded mixing bowls allow you to just go through here and really just cut this stuff in easy. All right, once we get any big clumps out of there, clean this out a little bit into the pan, and then we're going to add just a couple tablespoons of cold water. So I've got about a half a third of a cup here and I'm gonna use about half of that to start off with and start mixing it. And I'm going slow with the water because you can add too much water really, really easy. Now what you're trying to form is clumps that actually clump together to make your dough. And you can see we're starting to get to that point. Probably use just a little more water in there. Rather have too little than too much. So add a little at a time because you may need more than you think, but depending on what you've done with the rest of your ingredients, you may need less than you think. Once this gets to the point where you can basically pick it up and make a ball out of it, it doesn't fall apart like that. You pretty much got what you need with our hand. We're gonna make a ball here. Get everything out of here. And if we've got more than we need for the bottom of our pie, it's always a good idea to cut this in half in the first place and chill each half separate. And then you can use one half, and if it's not enough, you can always add to it. But if you, you have to use both halves at the same time, then you may have too much. I guess that's the easy way to say that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of Piggly Wiggly bags here and put these halves in Piggly Wiggly bags and just fold them up, and I'm going to put them in the cooler. Now, I've had a lot of folks ask me online, offline about cleanup. I've got a big stock pot here that I use to cook in, but this is also my main cleanup. I put about a half, a half full pot on here to about a cap of bleach. Now let that get good and hot. It doesn't necessarily have to boil, but I like to get it good and hot. Stir that bleach up in there, get my stuff in there and clean it up. So the first thing we need is we need three egg yolks and old Zahn will appreciate that because that means he can have the eggs themselves. 
So we'll just get rid of all of this and keep the yolk just like that. That gives us one egg yolk and all the egg is inside the pan here. And the next one, and if we can break it clean, keep the yolk and get rid of the rest. Strain the rest off. Pretty good shape. Almost got it. There we go. Two yolks. Now, we got quite a bit of egg mix here. We can give those on. Is it like that? Put that right there for Zon. We'll put our egg yolks in here and we will beat them dudes up. Get them good and whisked up. Then we're just going to set this aside for a few minutes because we're going to add some hot ingredients to that very slowly in a few minutes. All right, to this, we're going to add two thirds of a cup brown sugar and light brown sugar is the best bet for this there's a little less than a third of a cup and there's a little less than a third because you don't really want this packed down too tight I'm actually not going to use quite all of that a lot of this is just eyeballing now we can start to add some wet ingredients. We do need a little bit of salt, about one teaspoon of salt in there. And then we can start to mix in our wet ingredients. I'll start off with about a tablespoon of vanilla extract and I'm just eyeballing that. All right, to this wet mixture, we added two cups of heavy whipping cream. And then we're going to add one full cup of honey. There's a half cup. Full cup. All right, we're gonna whisk this up really good. Get all this stuff mixed together. And then we're gonna put it on the heat. And we're gonna boil this to make our custard filling. Now while this is on the boil, we're going to constantly stir it. And it should start to thicken up. Okay, now it's starting to thicken up. It's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah. Once it starts to get those pop pockets in there, it's not really bubbling anymore. That's air pockets are bubbling up out of that. Then we can go ahead and turn that off. Keep stirring it for about a minute after that. Let's pull it off the heat. Okay, so now we're going back over here to these eggs because the eggs go in at the very end. What we don't want to do is we don't want to cook these eggs. So we have to do what's called tempering the eggs. We have to put in a little bit of hot liquid. We have to mix it up so that we're not boiling these eggs or making scrambled eggs. We're making a custard filling. So we're gonna pour in a little at a time in the beginning. And mix it up really, really good. All right, let's get the rest of this in here. I doubt seriously we're going to use all of this. I probably made more than I needed. I usually do. Because I'm trying to cut recipes down a little. Because I don't need a whole pie, obviously, or an 8-inch pie. So I'm going to make this in a Pathfinder skillet, which is about 8 inches, but not as big as an 8 or 9-inch pie pan would be. So I'm not going to need all of this. But I'm sure Zahn will love the leftovers, that's for sure. Okay. Time to get our pie crust together here. So we're going to take a little bit of flour and dust our board. And we'll start to roll it out here. See what we got. Yeah. Getting somewhere now. And we'll lay this on top and see where we're at. 
when you a little more length here, a little more length here. Pretty simple system here. Put that dude right like that. And we'll just get our knife and trim around the edge here real quick, just like this. Flip this bad boy over and she'll drop right in just like that. Then we're gonna take this, set it to the side. Make sure we don't have any air pockets down inside here. Make sure this is sitting flat against the bottom of the skillet. Once we've got that, then we're going to put our filling in. Again, we're not gonna use all of this by any means. It's probably going to be more than enough right there once it settles around the edges. We got a little bit of crust sticking up all the way around. Pretty good. That looks good. Okay, now we've got our oven preheating over here. We can go over there. Okay, so we've got our makeshift oven set up over here in the Dutch oven. Look at that. Smoking away. Temperature's at about 350. We want about 425. So we're not quite preheated enough yet, but we're getting close. So let's put the lid back on this dude for a minute. All right. So here's our honey pie. We got to sit in front of a fan cooling down. And you can see there is actual space now between the crust and the pan itself. The crust is pulled away and cooked up, and that's, that's a good sign. I put some sea salt coarse ground on top of it for just a little bit of a garnishment but you can see the cracks in that gel filling in that custard filling that's another good sign that this thing is ready to rock and roll so we'll let it cool it down and we'll try a piece okay well we got us a ryan's cane sugar cola here mm. yeah, that dude's playing good and now it's time to see how our pie came out. So let's get a look at that, man. Woo wee, that thing is money train. Look at that thing. All right, I gotta tell you, this pie crust just flaking apart. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so here's the deal, I gotta tell you. Look at that, flakes in that pie crust, golly. Mm -mm. <laughs> Son, man. If I didn't know this wasn't a sugar cream pie, I would just about swear that it was a sugar cream pie. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Man. That thing. That crust is just flaking apart on that thing. That was awesome. Golly. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Man, is that good. Mm. This is a sugar coma waiting to happen right here. Guys, listen, I appreciate you joining me out here today for this video. Again, we kind of made pie crust from scratch on another video, so I just kind of wanted to reiterate some of the steps today. In this video, early the video was about how to make the filling, how to make that custard, sugary, creamy, honey filling that goes in this pie. And oh my gosh, you can't even, you can't even imagine how good that is unless you had it, but if you like sugar cream pie, you would love this because it is just awesome. Man. All right, let's try this one more time. Guys, I appreciate you joining me today for this video. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, all our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video in this series or another video, bushcraft, survival, fishing, hunting, trapping, folk skills, something. I do them all. It's not just a cooking channel, just because I'm doing some cooking videos right now in a series. But if you stay with me, you'll get to see it all. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Thanks.